Hey guys, you're watching Team APS, and in today's video, I'm with Alec, and we're going to be discussing, or maybe debating, um... Creativity. Is, yeah, is creativity dead in Yu-Gi-Oh? Because it's something you hear a lot. You hear a lot of people say, you know, like, yeah, there's no more creativity in this game, creativity's dead, Konami killed it, like, archetypes ruin, you know, creative decks and combo decks and... Blah, 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 blah. Same deck over and over again. So, uh, we're gonna kind of discuss it because I think that there's an argument kind of to be made for each, but, um, what do you think? Well, I get, well, I, let's just start us off in parts. Let's, let's talk first all about, um, deck building. Um, it's because we all, we, we have, there's people that are meta players who we, some people call pro, and then there's casual players. From a casual player's point of view, they say that creativity is dead by, when it comes to meta players because they... Because they the play the same thing. Yeah, they're like, oh, you all play Shadows, or you all play Tellers, or you all play Quilly, and you're all just basically using the same deck, the same formula. Or and a, to a pro player, they're like, no, 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 my build's different. Uh, I, I, made, I made conscious choices. But so you'd say it's a perspective thing? Yes, but we can, but let's be honest. When there's no, when there's little to no variation, even if there is variations, is it still like considered being like highly creative? Uh, so what you're basically saying is like, um, you'd say it's if you're a casual player, there's still creativity, um, but if you're a meta, like, or like if you're a casual player, it seems like there's no creativity from the meta players, but you're being creative because you're casual and you're like having fun. Yeah. Or but then if you're a meta player, you think the creativity lies in those fine choices. But objectively, when you look at the meta game of Yu-Gi-Oh, does it seem all that creative? Yeah, I think that maybe it's not that creativity is dead. Maybe it's um, just it's never really been alive. Like, could, well, do you know what I mean? Because like when yeah. one person makes a good deck, like everyone's gonna copy it because everyone wants to win. That's true. So it's really like it's it's not like it's Konami's fault that. I mean, maybe you can blame Konami for making like a broken deck, right? But. I mean, but like you have to blame kind of the players for they being. They were gonna do it regardless. Uh -huh. You got like, when the players hive mind off of one deck, it's really our fault maybe that creativity is dead and not like Konami's killing it. But creativity isn't, and the people say creativity is dead. That is, that is that's implying it was live to begin with. The game has always been this way since the since the wee old days. The second a deck was good enough to win. The vast majority of players yeah, or pro players, it. they're gonna copy it because they want to win. They want that edge. So it's not that creativity is dead. I just don't think it, as far as deck building goes, it actually existed. Yeah, and that's kind of how it is with a lot of things, honestly. Like in any game, like if something wins, it's gonna get copied, and that's just how it is. So I would say that maybe, maybe creativity. It's not that it's dead. It just didn't exist. Now, kind of let's talk about the archetype discussion because a lot of people yeah. say like archetypes ruin creativity, and that like. Maybe in Yu-Gi-Oh, you used to like pick a lot of good cards you liked. Mm -hmm. They kind of worked well with each other. Had some combos you thought of, and that was. And for many people, that's what creativity that was creativity is. Creativity for them. And now it's kind of like you just pick an archetype. The archetype kind of works itself. It, it tells you what it does instead of the other way around. Yeah, it's got its own like sort of just set of like flowchart combos, right? And like, I think do you know a good what I mean? example of that's your Senju. It yeah. doesn't like you can't. You don't play your Senju your way. They're like, you play it how Konami <laughs> kind of told you. Senju's like, you know, we return to the hand at the end phase. He can bounce, he can shoot, he searches. I'd say in that That's sense... That's what we do. In that sense, there is... In that sense... Okay. In that sense, there is like... Yeah, Konami's kind of ruined the creativity aspect. Because when you look at it like that, successful decks are archetypes now. Combo yeah. decks simply don't work. I mean, we've discussed this lots in this channel before. That's true. But um, it's just, let's not say they don't work. It's just say it's more difficult to work in the face of the more consistent. Sometimes, ah, fuck. What? I think an ant bit me. Yes, it did, actually. Uh, but yeah, so I see what you're saying. It feels like when you look at it that way, um, it's like, well, Konami just kind of took the creativity away. I mean, there are archetypes. And um, she, eh, she you get to take your pick. She was here last year. But she was with <laughs> We're recording outside, by the way. Um, yeah, but yeah, um, it yeah, it feels like maybe Konami, um, in that sense, Konami took the creativity away because like it's just easier to play an archetype and have your deck kind of run itself, right? And, it, and it's weird though, because do you, do you, archetypes don't they don't have to dictate the game as they do now. 
Konami has made like people, you know how people consider Sun Deck's helmet, where the deck kind of just it do, it takes even less very little interaction. Yeah, it with takes the even opponent. less away from the t the player himself and the guy he's playing against. The deck does its own job for him, but it there was there were times when archetypes they. They all they really did was in a way was just say, "Hey, this is my name and this is your name. If you get us both on the field, I'll power him up." Or yeah, something. nowadays the archetypes combo them. Like they literally create, like they do loops and like things. Like it, I see what you're saying. Like archetypes maybe used to be like if you have two in the field, they're a little stronger yeah. or something. Or like, now, oh, if you summon him and him, they can't be destroyed by battle. Now literally Whee! he pitches her. When she's pitched, she does this. And then, like, you know, she gets back that, and you yeah. search for that, and then, like, you can overlay into this. And, like, so... I think, let's get an example of an archetype that isn't, that doesn't, like, that doesn't kill off your, like, your creativity in your plays. I would say maybe, like, Synchrons is a popular one. That's new. I mean, yeah. like, Synchrons I mean, has it's, been it's around. It's been, like, but it's been revitalized just recently. Because I've seen Synchrons put in all kinds of things just because of just how useful and versatile they are. I see what you're saying. Like, I feel like synchrons leave a lot of room for creativity. Um, there are a few other archetypes where you can like kind of, I mean, you know, I guess perform age and stuff like that. I mean, just that's more I mean, of an engine though. Yeah, but oh, that's true. I think one that's on like on the border, right? But I think during the times when archetypes were a little underpowered, and the time when they're really powered is a uh, six samurai. Uh, while yeah. they people people will yeah. want to consider them uncreative or, or formulaic, that's because that's what we all try and play them kind of the one way that we think works but the way with the way their effects are written you can kind of play them how you want it's just that people choose to go for the synchro she and synchro beast synchro dragon and knock you out type I see what you mean so um uh, in conclusion my stance on it I don't know it's actually a tougher question than it's, <laughs> no I mean I hate to like end on the whole well it's up to you yeah but, what do you think but the truth is like I don't know I mean because you raise a good point. It's not like creativity is like ever where it was. Like, creativity, it exists when you're like, when you first get into the game and you're building your deck and stuff, but if you're competitive, then you kind of have accepted that creativity pretty much extends to, I thought of a few good texts or something, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's, in a way, that's very creative for that situation. Right. Because your creativity might actually pull you to win. But, you know, you is what's, what's worth more, though, the creativity or the win? Yeah, so, I don't know, maybe creativity isn't dead, maybe it just never existed. Yeah. Or maybe it's dead in the sense that, like, you know, you can't win with a combo deck anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe archetypes did kill creativity. But you know who does know? You. <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> that was my worst plug yet. Um, in the comments, though, guys, leave what you guys think. Do you think that creativity in Yu-Gi-Oh! is dead? Or is it still alive and flourishing? Want to hear a bad plug? You can even put, you can even leave your um, ideas on our Facebook or our Twitter page, and you can follow them for updates as well. <laughs> and if you want to win a one of two Yu-Gi-Oh 2015 Mega Tens this month, you can enter the giveaway in the description of this video, and you can follow us on Twitch where we stream live, and you can subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> videos. There's so many great things you can do to support us. Yeah, you can just live in our little our little universe. You can like fill the world with Team APS fun. But that's the video. We hope you guys liked it. Um, we didn't really come to a consensus. Is creativity yeah, dead? Is difficult it not? To, it's difficult to put a, an answer to that, honestly. But that's what you are here for. So leave it in the comments. We'll be reading. We'll be responding. And uh, we'll catch you guys later with more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Team Maps out.